First, we had transgender, men who identify as women, women who identify as men. They are, they claim, the opposite gender of their birth gender because they feel they are trapped inside the wrong body. As a society, we accepted this. Then we got transracial. Rachel Dolezal, the white woman who pretended to be black and even led a chapter of the NAACP until she was exposed and thrown out, she claimed she wasn't pretending to be black. She is black because she feels black. She's a black woman trapped in a white woman's body. She's transracial, she says. As a society, we accepted this. There's more. After transgender and transracial, we got transabled. Yeah, this one's really messed up. Physically healthy people who feel they should have been born disabled. A man in Great Britain cut off his arm because he felt like an amputee. A woman in North Carolina poured drain cleaner in her eyes because she felt blind. Transgender, transracial, transabled. Guess what's next? A grown man posting an ad on Craigslist wanting a nanny because he identifies as a baby. You can't make this stuff up. Ridiculous? Perhaps, but who's to say anymore if that's how he feels? If a man can be a woman because he feels like one, if a white person can be a black person because she feels like one, if a healthy person can mutilate herself because she feels disabled, if a grown man can be a baby because he feels infantiled, where does this end? Can a child be an adult because she feels like a grown-up? Can a teenager buy alcohol because he identifies as over 21 years of age? Can a grown man attend kindergarten because he identifies as a six-year-old girl? If not, why not? When you sacrifice objectivity and reality, like transgender, transracial, transabled, transspecies, transaged, you get cultural absurdity.